All right, final deck of the day. Another Noxus PNZ mid-range deck, but this one uh, with a couple different champions. But Ezreal Swain here. So Ezreal cares about seeing us target enemies, which we do a lot with our various, you know, removal spells here. Static Shock uh, is a noteworthy inclusion in this deck, not one that you normally see outside of Ezreal decks because uh, it's not really individually very powerful, but the fact that it can help us kind of level Ezreal very easy makes it worth considering, especially with these, um, when paired with Noxus cards, because dealing just one damage to an enemy is normally not very appealing, but when we have things to finish it off like Ravenous Flock or Scorched Earth, um, it makes it uh, that much more worthwhile. Top end, we got Swain, Leviathan, of course, uh, nasty combination, and notably, you know, Ezreal, and his Mystic Shots, plus, you know, the various other types of removal, damage-based removal that we have in this deck to begin with, allows us to level up Swain very consistently. So normally, you know, when we're getting down a Leviathan, the Swain that we can play as a follow-up is almost certainly leveled up if, uh, if, if we don't already have one on the field. Rest of the deck, typical inclusions you'd find in a mid-range deck like this. We have some Chempunk uh, Pickpockets. I think this is a very reasonable card in, in, in this archetype. I've been very impressed with this inclusion. Not only is it a, a solid two drop to help curb aggression, you know, with its third point of attack means it can block fearsome units against slower, more controlling decks. This can often get in an early hit for three damage plus a card, which can be relevant because these matches, matches with this deck can sometimes get a little bit grindy. And so having that extra card advantage is nice. And if, and even if it's a card we're not interested in, you can always rummage it away or, uh, uh, get rid of it with oh no 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 sump dredgers in this one but yeah we could always just rummage it away that is the main thing uh running you know a couple copies of scorched earth a couple of aftershocks in here aftershock uh not only a good uh you know landmark removal but also deals damage which is good for helping level up swain good for pushing damage closing games out if we point it upstairs to the enemy nexus uh we are we are running some arachnoid sentries in this build i'm I like these with um, with Ezreal because the play effect actually works towards his level up and paired with the Ravenous Flock we want to be playing anyway, it's kind of nice. Could see these being better as the Sump Dredgers that, we, that I just mentioned before, but Sump Dredger is kind of more for builds like the Ezreal Riven or Ezreal Draven deck since those champions are creating more stuff that you wouldn't mind discarding to those cards. And since we're already kind of trying to fuel a rummage here with only like these three chump wumps up here, going with the sentries for now. Um, and they felt they felt fine in this build um, versus the sump dredger for sure. Um, what else did I want to mention? Though sometimes like we can rummage away like the fleeting mystic shots Ezreal creates as well. Uh, very rarely in cases where, you know, we don't feel like we need them. But yeah, I think uh, not much more to say about that. This is an archetype that's been around, uh, I think it's been around pretty much since, since, well, it's been around for a while. I shouldn't say, since I've been playing the game, I think that's that's certainly true, but that's, uh, you know, that hasn't been that long, I suppose. Um, but it's seen a little bit of a resurgence with the, with the fairly recent Ezreal change. And so, uh, yeah, and it's a, it's an archetype I've, I've enjoy, been enjoying. Or I have enjoyed in the past, haven't played it in a while, so we're going to play it today, see how we do. Swain, Swain is one of my favorite champions in this game, I just love... Uh, Swain Leviathan is just one of the most satisfying things you can be doing <laughs> in the game, and Swain's just kind of a badass champion. He probably has my favorite level up animation of all champions in this game so far. So, always looking for more excuse to play, uh, play with Swain, I think this is a fairly reasonable deck to do it in. So obviously they're probably playing the uh, Plaza Scouts deck. So probably, I, I I like this for gumming up the board because they, they are an aggressive deck. They can get aggressive. They don't always have Plaza. So I don't think we just like full mulligan looking for Plaza interaction here. Um, but So we want to keep something to gum up the board early, but I think we'll mulligan the rest looking for interaction for their Plaza. Like I like we want. Think it's worth burning the burb, maybe? No, probably not. I think we need to save this for a, a quick
win or misfortune. Well, those aren't the greatest first two draws of the game. Like I said, we wanted to make sure we could gum up the board early, so... You know, if they want to trade two cards for one of ours, that's fine. It's two units to two units, but notably, we only played one card, they played two. So I think it's a fine exchange for us. Um, yep. Take this trade every day. If they have uh, Rangers Resolve, that would be annoying, which that might have indicated Rangers Resolve, but I think I make them have it there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see if they want to play out Plaza this turn and just let me get in for three plus a card, or if they have blockers that they want to play. And if they have a blocker, but it dies this Thermo Beam, might be worth using, but mm, probably not. We probably just, uh, we probably just save it for something, uh, something more important. Okay, that rummage makes me want to play this chump bump out. I was thinking maybe though we we arachnoid sentry their biggest thing this turn. Okay, they've met they've their attack steps has passed now, so we can just go ahead and play this out. No reason to rummage now. Um I'll rummage uh hmm. It might have been worth thermo beaming this to get in a big attack, maybe. Hmm go either way on that. I think here I want to swing. Maybe Mystic shot this when he tries to block with it, but I don't know if that's worthwhile. I, I think we can just swing with this and leave this around. Deal. Remember the Fallen. Kind of sucks, but eh, not a big deal. Uh, now the question. Swain's a big boy, big fatty we can get on the board. I don't, don't know if he's going to be that great this game because we are attacking on odds. If we were attacking on evens, it'd be a little different. Of course. Um, hmm. I think we'll just do it as a means to spend our mana here. It could be right to maybe look for Plaza interaction, but I don't know. That seems kind of loose at the same time. I think we just stun their first play, maybe Thermal Beam the next, depending on what they have. Would actually double ravenous block this. Probably gonna see them eat this three th three two since it represents uh, you know long term value if it somehow lives and gets through what they're doing. Do I double ravenous this lady? What punishes us? They could toughen her up with Ranger's Resolve. She still dies. One Ranger's Resolve is not enough. They could have Ranger's Resolve and Sharp Sight. They could have double Sharp Sight. They could have a lot of things, I suppose. I gotta do one, see what they do, and then we just like bank this spell mana maybe and like attack. Mystic shot her now. Yeah, I feel like I'm regretting this already. Swain is kind of nice. Assuming we'll see a block on the Swain here. 
Maybe not, though. Meet my blade. Injustice. Today we turn the tide of war. I think I'm just gonna pass here. Doesn't feel good to not spend our mana, but. Okay. Well, we'd like to save. You fight or you swim. How very interesting. Oh, this was stupid. I could have done this in response. Okay, it wouldn't have mattered. Hopefully they can't single combat this with something big and scary. They could have another sharp sight single combat here. If they play something big and nasty, maybe we have to thermo beam it. But I think if they don't play out more than two, yeah, no, I don't think so. I think we might actually thermo beam the first thing they play. I'm just gonna pass. They rally, that's what we gotta worry about. So now we'll do this because otherwise they'll scout and get to do two attacks. I don't know, opponent could have just like not attacked with that 3-4 and I probably would have just passed the turn, although I should probably attack with the 5-8, but then he just doesn't block and then at least has a chance to kill the Swain with like scout units the following turn, but I guess they were just not interested in playing anymore. I, I don't know what was in their hand that made them feel like they couldn't finish off that Swain the next round. Maybe they just screwed up and forgot I had an attack still. That I still had an attack token. Possible. So in theory, we're pretty good against the self-harm deck, considering we have so many things that kill damaged units, but... Um, yeah. Probably want a Thermo Beam to deal with one big 
big stinker like a Vladimir or a Sedge. It looks like they're on 3, 2, 1 here, so they're not really all in... Um, or maybe they're 2, 2, 2. I guess that, that, that could be what, they are, what they're on. Still, I think the Thermal Beam's worth keeping. Definitely want the Aftershock. Okay, so they are playing the self-harm deck. I'm gonna pass and see what they play. Okay. this because fleeting mystic shot plus his ravenous flock could be pretty good um yeah i found my family my bloodkin well that guy's kind of awkward with that i don't really want a thermal beam hmm Pass because we could always just Ravenous Block in response to an open attacks, but if they don't open attacks, then we just, uh... Still considered injured, though, right? Keep my guests waiting. Well, that feels bad. Now I wish I'd thermo beamed you. Watch and learn. Okay, so I don't want to ping her. May as well use the Mystic Shot. Could also play you, and then what else could we do? Actually, because well, it doesn't matter. So he could play the thing that he could play the thing that gouges. Somehow I'm remembering. I remember this the skill and not the actual. It's like Basilisk Bloodseeker or something. Hmm. This is enemies with four less power cannot damage me. Uh, well, I can take it out with this. Probably need to. You're almost leveled. This is not a lot of damage. Oop. They could do the thingy in response. Uh, I don't think that's that big of a deal. Swain's about to level two, which is nice. Okay. Just kill you. No mercy for cowards. I don't miss. Nailed it. Nailed it. Everyone pleads for the 
right price. I think it's worth leveling Ez because... Okay, let's play this first and see what they do. Because I can burst speed... Um, burst speed mushroom clouds. But who do I hit? It's probably you. It doesn't feel good, but now everything can go to the face. It's just blood, darling. Just another winter. Yeah, that's definitely scary. Let the flames take you. Continuing to be scary. Poison puff cat doesn't do anything right now. All right, let's pass. I'm assuming they're opening attacks here. They're not, okay. I was once small like you. Such little love. Definitely want to start with that. Hmm. Where do we go from here? I don't mind this popping off again and killing their stuff. Do I aggressively look for a uh, another Swain here? If I play this Mushroom Cloud, all it does is stun, is stun this, which is already getting stunned. Answer for both of my things? That's really unfortunate. So I think I do this because then this trigger plus the others kills her. I think we need to save the mystic shot just in case I go waste 
Finish her off, hopefully. They top deck their champ. Can we get a Leviathan maybe? I have the name. I need the reputation. Ooh, such rich blood. Okay. That's a thing. Oh, yeah, no. Time for a true display of skill. Oh my. Watch and learn. Can't stop me. Firing. This drains, so I, uh... Yeah, it's important that I kill him this point. Easy. Like my name. Another scouts. There's the aftershock we want. The thermal beam seemed like it worked well last time. So I think I want to keep that. Discard the rest, looking for early game. Spider's not bad. I think that's oh, worth playing. Goods. Trying to punch through. The goods on this one. Nice. So, I could stun and blinding assault, and then we could open on attacks, deal five, which is nice. But we have this ravenous flock in hand. Hmm, is that worth ravenous flocking? Let's find out. Oh, birds, what I've done. 
We could see a single combat here, trade with one of our things. But single combat now instead of like a Scythera on our slain is fine, I think, overall. I could play the Swain and see what they do, but I'd rather save Thermal Beam mana for um, for something big, like a Scythera or whatever. No. Or a Quinn. Show them what we're made of. No prey, no pay. Oh boy, do they have more plays. Millswater will soon fly the Noxian banner. Not while I've got bullets left. You'll fight or you'll swim! Okay, ready. I think I might actually just take this hit. Considering I have Static Shocks in hand. Then again, I would like their board to... Yeah, no, this... Maybe this is wrong. So if I attack with this 3-2, they're almost certainly... Playing the 3 1. Uh, I gotta watch out for them playing something big in single combat, I suppose. Destination in sight! Bring these lands to their knees. But there's no way around it. Like, this is just a big, scary boat that hopefully will do its thing. We might actually Thermal Beam just to ensure that Swain levels up this round. Thermal Beam, you puts you in range of this Static Shock. Okay, our opponent's in the tank here, so I'm hoping that means they don't have it. Okay, with that play then, I'm just gonna pass, I think. Dark in the sky! Them not using their mana is good. Yes. As is still a little ways from leveling, unfortunately. I'm gonna do this because I don't care about these things taking one damage, and this is just in case they have something like Ranger's Resolve or whatever. Okay, now Ed is one away from leveling. History will remember us. Okay, it's our first Go Hard deck of the day, actually. We'll see how we can do. They're usually pretty good about gumming up the board and uh, stopping us from doing our thing. Uh, let's see, 
probably want the Mystic Shot. That hits a lot of their stuff. Arachnoid Sentry can at least block their um, Elises, which they notably they're attacking on odds. So we do have a chance to deploy the Sentry. I guess we don't. They could play it on their turn too and then open attacks. But still, I think it's worth keeping. It makes the drawing into a Ravenous Flock a little bit better. Uh, Makes Bean, thanks a lot for the follow. Appreciate you stopping by uh, the stream and giving me your support. Hope you're having a good uh, Tuesday. What's today? Wednesday? <laughs> Hope you're having a good Wednesday wherever you are at in the world. I think we'll pass here, see what they do. We might actually just Thermo Beam an Elise if they play it. Because Elise is going to gum up the board uh, quite well, and I'd rather that not happen. There's the Ravenous Flock we wanted. <sighs> Do I just pass here? I feel like we're 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 the deck that's favored as we go along. They clearly have a bunch of go hard in deck that they want to use on a target that uh, we're not giving them yet. Because I kind of want to Ezreal start getting value off of that, but I, I, I might be wrong. There's nothing for him to target anyway. So we just pass. I don't think we can keep passing back and forth forever necessarily, but I don't know. I feel like, again, like I think our deck wins if we go along. We find our Swains and uh, Leviathans. What are they going to do? Like, they, they need to... Well, their deck does run big removal. They are SI after all. Where do you stand on cold shots? Now they don't have... Um, now they don't have Vengeance. So what are they going to do this Ezreal? They could play a bunch of... They could play triple go hard, I guess. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Now I have a target for Ez, but they have a target for their go hard. So we'll probably see them play a couple now. Hey, Johnny Hits. Thanks for uh, stopping by. I'm doing all right. Hope you're... Uh, I don't miss. Enjoying your Wednesday afternoon. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, we'll do this in response, I suppose. Uh, since I, I believe you guys might be new to the channel, so I will mention that I do have a YouTube channel as well where I upload all my replays. Um, so if you're ever interested... Hmm, is this worth... Mystic shotting again. I think it might be. Maybe this is overly aggressive. I could I could see that argument, but their hand's actually kind of low. Let's just let's just keep it low. Um, yeah, sorry. I have a YouTube channel where I upload all my uh, replays from all my streams, and I break it down by deck types. If you want to see specific matches from today's stream or past streams or future streams that you just happen not to be able to catch. That's the place to go. I also play a variety of other games there. It's not just Runeterra, but Runeterra is kind of the main thing I'm streaming these days. Okay, so that's unfortunate, but ultimately, uh, we're gonna have to work through their Gohards eventually. They're drawing two cards, one of them's fleeting. Hopefully they draw one of their expensive uh, pieces of top end. That would be very nice. What do we want to do here? I could static shock. Nah, let's, let's do this. Let's start. Got a surprise for him. I could do this and then static shock these two the next turn. A little greed. If anything, I should do this. I kind of like revealed my hand a little bit there with that uh, question, unless the opponent might think, well, maybe he was just misclicked. So was this the thing they got off of? Uh... Okay, cool. They lost one of their vengeances. Awesome. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Start with this. It will attack. See what they do. Gotta go 
Could see them chump block here just so they can finish this off with their third go hard. That's unfortunate. I was really hoping they'd chump block um, the spider at the very least. No such luck. Doesn't feel great, but I think I want to thermo beam one of these. So good chance they have a go hard um, or a pack your bags in hand at this point, which means they could hit and kill Swain. So what do we want to do then? I'm going to pass and see what they do. Mm, that is a little annoying, I'll, I'm not going to lie. Um, now what? Let's so we do this. See what we draw. Well, they almost certainly have a go hard in hand now. Let's play this and see what they do. Or pack your bag, excuse me. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's do this. Because these can't block swing. So hopefully he gets it. Yeah, so hopefully he'll get in. Our opponent lost a one vengeance already. Uh, obviously they have a lot of cards in hand that can that can deal with this, but if they ruinate this board, that's also not that bad for us. So, we'll see what they do. I know what lurks in the shadows. They, they found another vengeance, that's unfortunate. Um, so with that in mind, I think what I'm forced to do here, uh, just to preserve our life total, is we'll thermo beam, or we'll mystic shot that and thermo beam the other. They're going to get in for three here, but hopefully Leviathan plus Swain the following turn uh, makes our opponent pack their bags. Wow, their leftovers are good. So young. Well, they lost the lead draws. That's kind of nice, actually. Yippee! I talk to spirits. These are my rules. Hmm. 
scorched earth, huh? We're dead to a pack your bags anyway. Yeah, maybe I should have done that in response, fearing a card like that. These arachnoid sentries aren't really doing much at this point. Maybe I'm supposed to uh, rummage them away. I think we need to pass a little bit first, though, because I'll, I'll need blockers if they find another pack of your bags, which are extremely likely to at this point. Pretty obligated to play it, I would say. Maybe not. And just go wide around us, I suppose. It's a thermal beam. That's not awkward. So I guess we're just dead to them. Go wide. Pack your bags. It is what it is. One, two, three, four, five. Counter attack! This way we're not dead to pack your bags. Disappointing loss. We almost beat... What was that? Two pack your bags? Just couldn't get the third one. Oh, our opponent should feel ashamed for winning that way. <laughs> Maybe I was supposed to play the Leviathan to play around that. It just felt like... Making them have the healing was the better way to go there. I don't know. Feels bad, man. Mm, probably don't want any of this hand. Okay, sure.
Yeah, I could have either played the Leviathan, hope that that would be enough. Then they ruination me, and then what? Then I play the Ezreal and I die to pack your bags off the top anyway. Alternatively, I play the Ezreal there. Then in response to Ruination, I play a bunch of mushrooms. Hope that that's enough. I don't know. That was a good top deck, by the way, while we were thinking about that. Damn me. Damn me and my trying to get value out of things. That's fine. I should have just done this as soon as he played this. Didn't really, I wasn't thinking about Bright Steel Protector for some reason. So now we're taking three damage that we didn't need to, and they still have a 3-2, and I could have had a spider to block. They wouldn't have that 3-3 three, three either. It feels super bad. Oh well. Maybe that'll learn me. That'll learn me not to try to wait for their attack. Um, What do we do here? What you looking for? I think we just got to kind of play to the board now. It's too bad. It's too bad that our only like two unit plays here are the uh, the spider that we can't get value out of now. I guess we'll just pass. See what they do. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Rough. Uh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I think we gotta discard some of this crap. It didn't really do anything. We're not done yet. So these two are dying to their s stupid birds. you and then thermo beam you hopefully still have a stupid three two my chump blocking it now probably So Static Shock is a good draw, obviously, because of that. I'm going to play the Swain here because we're going to... Yeah, because he's just the more expensive unit, pretty much what it comes down to. Doesn't matter, probably wasn't attacking anyway. That's dead to Static Shock, at least. Don't care. <laughs> Oh, I really want a Leviathan, but I got ways to find me mushrooms. Always forward. How tedious. I Protect 
Adapt and strike. My steel is yours. I think we'll end on a high note with this one. History will remember us. So thanks everyone who stopped by and checked out the stream. Like I said uh, earlier, I upload everything in my YouTube channel. So you can check out past matches there, including everything that we played today. Uh, deck lists provided in deck list and deck codes provided in the video descriptions, of course. Uh, and yeah, the next time I'll be back is on Friday. We'll be streaming more Rune Terror. We'll be playing a couple Plaza decks of our own and some other stuff. Someone submitted a deck list for me to try. And so uh, I'm going to do that. In fact, that's worth mentioning. I do uh, prioritize playing viewer submitted decks on this channel. So if you have a deck or deck idea that you want me to build around and see played, feel free to DM me or send me a message, you know, on my YouTube channel here or in the relative Discord, uh, relevant Discord chats. So I play both uh, Rune Terra and Card, so you can find me in the Rune Terra chat with the same name, Jatora, uh, and I'll be happy to play your deck or give you uh, or build a build a deck based on your idea. I pretty much have an entire collection at this point, so I'm pretty much fine to play just about whatever. So yeah, but uh, with that said, uh, yeah, thanks again for everyone for hanging out. We'll see you next time. Uh, I guess I should do a little wrap up for this deck before we go, huh? Well, having four ways of dealing with landmarks that, uh, while also being really just solid cards in the archetype in general, felt great. Aftershocks and Scorched Earths level up our Ezreals. The Aftershocks help the level up of Swain. Scorched Earths are always pretty much taking out something big because we're chump blocking with spiderlings or we're pinging things with our mystic shots or static shocks so this is always a good piece of removal and this as a form of reach or just a way to deal with something uh you know alone that isn't wounded <laughs> is nice and like again swaying leviathan just such a fun combination of cards to play to finish games out um yeah so that said, that's going to do it for me today. Uh, yeah, we'll see you guys Friday. Take care in the meantime. And yeah, stay safe.